part. What we want to do is we want to shoot this from eye level, okay, like this. Now what happens is uh, the front hand is very important with this weapon system. It drives the weapon forward almost as if you were striking with it. The back hand, it pulls to the rear. So it's a feeling of almost stretching the shotgun. Uh, generally, the farther back you go on the forend, the more control you're going to have. More Eleven hundred feet per second, copper plated. Okay, um, and we basically did the same thing. All right, so um, here we have three. Here we have five. Now with this, you notice the pattern starts opening up a little bit. Okay, three, five, seven, right here and 10. For some reason, I'm shooting a little bit to the left today. Um, you know, who knows, might have done too many pull-ups yesterday. But in any case, this is at 3, 5, 7, and 10. I didn't take any shots at 15 because I thought, okay, this is going to spread out considerably. But nonetheless, it probably would have gotten some, some uh, adequate hits. You know, understand, the stakeout is not an egalitarian weapon. That means that it's not for everyone. Not everyone has the physical characteristics and physical strength to wield it properly. But if you do, it is a devastating weapon up close, and you should not be limited by the, uh, the physical weakness of other people, okay? Uh, and as you saw with our patterning, um, you know, at, at, at the close range distances that we're talking about, um, you know, it does very, very well, just as well as a stocked weapon, matter of fact.